Welcome to Mars Lens, where silence speaks and every grain of dust hides a forgotten story. Today we're standing before Mariah's Pass, a place carved by time itself. These layered rocks you see aren't just Martian formations. They're ancient scrolls written in stone. Billions of years ago, water flowed through here, painting its memory on every ridge and shadow. So open your eyes, open your imagination, and step into the story of a world that once might have breathed. When Curiosity rover first arrived here, NASA scientists instantly knew. This wasn't just another Martian stop. Mariah's Pass is where two worlds collide, the light-colored clay-rich plains and the dark volcanic sands. It's a boundary between peace and chaos, water and fire, a perfect place for Mars to tell its secrets. These layered cliffs you see, they're like the pages of an ancient diary. Every stripe and color change marks a new chapter. A moment when water came, then vanished. By reading these layers, scientists can trace the story of how Mars changed from a blue world to a red one. Curiosity's camera caught something incredible here. Fine, flat rocks stacked neatly like sediment from rivers. It's proof that flowing water once shaped this land, slowly carving patterns that still remain. Imagine streams gliding through these valleys, carrying minerals, life, and dreams. But Mars was never gentle for long. The winds returned, fierce and relentless. They buried the riverbeds under storms of red dust, erasing every trace of flow, but not the memory. What we see now is the ghost of a river, frozen in silence. As curiosity drilled into these rocks, it discovered something no one expected. Traces of organic carbon the essential ingredient for life. Not proof of life itself, but the whisper of possibility. Maybe, just maybe. Mars once knew what it meant to live. These rocks aren't ordinary, they're storytellers. Each mineral crystal records the chemistry of a lost ocean. From sulfur to iron, Every element here tells us how Mars once breathed through rivers and lakes that no longer exist. Scientists believe Mariah's Pass may have been a gateway, where streams from Gale Crater's mountains met an ancient lake, a place of gathering, of transformation, of quiet miracles. Standing here, it's easy to feel that you're looking at the meeting point of life and time. And yet, what's more haunting than what's gone is what remains. Look at the cracked patterns in the soil, the soft dunes hugging the cliff. Each one holds the fingerprint of water, frozen mid-motion, as if Mars was paused mid-breath. When the rover moved past Mariah's Pass, it left its tire marks on untouched soil, human marks on alien land. It's poetic, isn't it? A small machine carrying human curiosity, tracing paths on a planet that once might have looked up at our sun, just like we do. Today, those tracks remain, a silent promise. That humanity will return, not just with machines, but with hearts and dreams. Maria's past is no longer just a location. It's a symbol, a reminder that even across 200 million kilometers of silence, we're still searching for ourselves.
So what do you think Maria's past is trying to tell us? That Mars once lived, or that it's still waiting to be reborn? Whatever the truth may be, it lies here, beneath layers of time and dust. If this journey moved you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because every rock on Mars has a story, and we'll uncover them all, right here on Mars Lens. And as always, thanks for watching.